hello welcome to another tutorial on number basis this time around we'll be taking you on addition and subtraction i still remain abdurrahman umar and uh, we we'll still remind you to subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not and enjoy more of our videos thank you and here we go carry out the following addition in the given basis a we have a uh, one zero one 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 zero base two plus one 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 zero one base two so we are going to arrange in a tabular form here we go now zero plus one gives a uh, one one plus zero gives a uh, one one plus one is two that two cannot be written directly so we are going to convert it to base two so we say two divided by two we are dividing by two because we are working with base two and uh, it goes one time and remainder zero so we are going to carry this one and write down this zero so we write uh, zero and carry one now one plus one gives two plus one three again we convert the three to base two so we divide by two it goes one time remainder one again we are carrying one and writing this one so we write one and carry one so one plus one gives two so this is here again we carry one and write zero so we write the zero and carry one one plus one two again so we are carrying we divide by two plus one remainder zero we write zero and carry one here we just bring down the one so you have one zero zero one zero one one base two that's the sum of the two binary numbers so we go to the b part of the problem so here again we arrange in a tabular form so we have uh, this you have to be mindful of this arrangement this last digit correspond with the last digit in that order so here now we carry out the addition again 3 plus 6 gives 9 so we 9 is not one of the digits of octal number so we convert the 9 to base 8 so we have 9 divided by 8 since we are working with base 8 we are dividing by 8 it goes one time remainder 1 so here we carry this one we carry the quotient and uh, write down the remainder so the remainder is one so we carry this one so one plus one gives two plus five gives seven so we have seven seven plus three gives ten so we say ten divided by eight which gives one remainder two so we are carrying one and writing down the two so we have two and carry this one one plus six gives seven plus two gives nine again 9 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 1 so we are writing this 1 and carry the 1 so since there's no number to add the 1 to we just bring down the number and we have 11271 base 8 as the result of the sum of this uh, octal number so this method is the same with respect to any base you are working with so we now go to the second problem the second problem we are to evaluate each of the following in the given basis so we have uh, the problem a so again we arrange the tabular form and uh, please be reminded one two three four five six we have six digits here and uh, one two three four five and we have five digits here so we arrange it in such a way that the last digit corresponds with the last digit the second to the last digit correspond with the second to the last digit and so on so we carry out the subtraction now we cannot say zero minus one 
so that would be impossible here so we borrow this one we borrow this one and it will be left with zero here when we borrow since we are working with base 2 what we borrow is 2 so we have the 2 here and 2 minus 1 gives 1 we are now left with 0 0 minus 0 gives 0 1 minus 1 gives 0 1 minus 1 gives uh, 0 again it's not possible to say 0 minus 1 in base 2 what we do is to borrow this 1 and it will now be 0 there bringing it here is 2 because the base we are dealing with is in base 2 so 2 minus 1 gives a 1 in base 2 this is the result of the difference between these numbers in base 2 so we go to problem B we have a 6, 7, 1, 3, base 8, minus 2, 3, 5, 6, base 8. And uh, we arrange again in the tabular form. So we are going to, we now carry out the subtraction. Here we are working with uh, base 8. And it is not possible to say 3 minus 6 in base 8 here. So we borrow this one. We are left with 0 there. Bringing it here, it is 8. Because we are working with base 8. So we now add this 8 to 3, which gives 11. So 11 minus 6 gives 5. So we have it as 5. This is 0 here now. And we cannot continue to say 0 minus 5. Here we borrow 1 from here. We are left with 6. The 1 we borrowed here is the 8. That's the base we are working with, which is 8. So 8 minus 5 gives 3. And uh, now we are left with 6 here. So 6 minus 3 gives uh, 3. And 6 minus 2 here gives uh, 4. So we have done justice to the B part of the problem. That brings the tutorial to an end for now. Until we come our way, remember you are getting this from Oninab Resources. Please, you should subscribe to the channel for more videos. Bye for now.